An Israeli attack helicopter was seen firing missiles on Friday at the Lebanese border with the country, followed by smoke rising from southern Lebanon. Israel also carried out another series of punishing airstrikes earlier Friday, hitting suburban Beirut and cutting off the main border crossing between Lebanon and Syria for tens of thousands of people fleeing the Israeli bombardment of the Hezbollah militant group. Some 1,400 Lebanese, including Hezbollah fighters and civilians, have been killed and some 1.2 million driven from their homes since Israel escalated its strikes in late September aiming to cripple Hezbollah and push it away from the country's shared border. Israel has launched a ground incursion into Lebanon against the Hezbollah militant group while also conducting strikes in Gaza. Hezbollah and Israel have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since the day after Hamas cross-border attack on October 7, 2023, which killed 1,200 Israelis and took 250 others hostage. Since then, more than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza and nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon. Iran's military released footage Thursday claiming to show the launch of some of the at least 180 missiles fired at Israel on Tuesday. Tuesday's attack was the latest in a series of rapidly escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its Arab allies that threatened to push the Middle East closer to a region-wide war. Iran said the barrage was retaliation for a series of devastating blows Israel has landed in recent weeks against the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon which has been firing rockets into Israel since the war in Gaza began. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed late Tuesday to retaliate against Iran, which he said, made a big mistake and will pay for it. 